morning this is am chat welcome to another wonderful edition of the show uh today we're talking about quite a number of things and i'm sure that um people are so excited there's so many things happening the Australian election is going on right now we have um, a strike the proposed strike uh, by the labor congresses the, the united labor congresses you know the labor congress the, the the trade union congress and all of that we have all of that happening and i'm sure that people want updates on what is happening we're going to have updates from Oshu state so we're going to open up the phone lines people are going to call in from the state we expect people to call in so if you're in Oshu state if you're in your state if you're in any area where something is happening right now because it's a nationwide strike would expect you to call in i give you out my my whatsapp number as well there's going to be a whatsapp um, line you can send me your whatsapp messages and let us just have a feel of what is happening in your environment if you're in a true state please give us your messages if you're in ife particularly if you're central if you're not central and if you're south there's going to be the um, election going on right now so please as you observe things kindly send us messages and let us read them out to the people so we're going to be monitoring monitoring the election right here from our studios i'll bring you updates as it happens right there and also on the on the um strike action is it effective are people going through it are people following through with it with, with the instruction to embark on a strike we're not sure but we're going to receive messages as well so if your children went to school and you're at home and it didn't come back it means they are there is no strike in that area so all over nigeria please kindly call us tell us what is happening wherever you are uh today is a beautiful beautiful thursday morning and you know we usually talk politics so we're going to start with politics but before we're going to <clears throat> excuse me before we're going to the discussion per se we're going to look into the papers we have about seven newspapers this morning to look at and then we have a guest in the studio that would you know break down all of these items for us all of these issues and we look at it together please stay with us we'll take this quick break while we come back straight to the dailies we'll be right back It was an atmosphere of excitement and expectation at 10 Degrees Event Center, the venue of Seraph Youth Arise, an initiative of Dr. Luwashe Yomi Shuloye. Many would wonder how such an amazing event could run flawlessly with over 5,000 youths gathered together in the same place with absolutely no idea how the program would go, but with a lot of expectations and believing that they would be living with goodies and possibly more money in the bank accounts. Through a beautifully crafted event that was as full of entertainment, made up of dance, drama, singing, as well as it was educating, the organizers were able to achieve a good mix of fun and seriousness. <laughs> One of the speakers at the event, Teju Blacky, popularly known as Teju Babyface, while admonishing the youth, asked them to strive to be a role model to the generations to come. The comedian come king of talk emphatically said life is not just about money, even though money is a necessity for every area of life. 
and he said it should not be the driving force for everything that the youth does but they should do all they can to ensure that they succeed in duplicating themselves through impacting others and laying a good foundation for the next generation now this is what you must know fame does not displace darkness it is glory that displaces darkness that means that for you to displace darkness and arise you must be rich talk to your neighbor and say i must be rich are you going to be rich i will tell you there is a problem that you are born to solve for nigeria and that is why you are here a lot of you want to leave you want to go to canada you want to go to the u.s you want to go to ghana you want to go to south africa there is no problem going if God has sent you. On a part, the convener of the event, Dr. Lushe Yomisholoye, appreciated every youth that registered to be a part of the program and congratulated the 5,000 who made it into the final list. Dr. Lushe, who said she received a commission after a vigil at the Seraphim land to revolutionize the entire fabric of the church with the focus on the youth, empowering them to live up to expectation as leaders of tomorrow. She also affirmed that the program will not end until every youth in the CNS church has been impacted through their various programs. As such, trainings have been organized in various vocational skills which would ultimately enhance the purchasing power of the youth and the generations to come. That I was given among others was to focus on the youth. The youth in the CNS church since there were leaders of the church tomorrow. Those of us who are gathered here today should be at the vanguard of this new crime to the position at their church and give it a new name. As the Seraph Youth Arise Initiative. The Dr. Olusha Yomisholoye Foundation is also partnering with corporate organizations to provide financial grants to help the youth establish their businesses and eke out a living. Nollywood stars were part of the great event. <laughs> Uh, welcome back. Uh, we're still talking on AM Chat. My name is Tommy Siojo. Um, but eventually you don't know my name already. My name is Tommy Siojo. With me in the studio this morning, I have um, a publisher and it's a public affairs analyst and a politician. Very silent. So I'm going to whisper that part. Silent politician. So he's a silent politician, you know. Well, he's a publisher. He's a renowned journalist and is a public affairs analyst. Uh, it's in the person of Mr. Odisha Stevenson. Good morning, sir. Uh, thanks again for having me. 
and thank you for the very short notice. Thank you for ordering.